And then there's the part three of the day, and that's the nighttime events. If you're not walking over to the event with somebody, or even if you are, it's a good idea to show up 30 minutes early, even if you're not helping set up. This way, you could help with some last minute flyering, or you could catch the freshmen who show up early. When you show up for one of these events, please, 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 please don't just hang out with your friends that you already know. That's what Reconnect is for. And I know it can be intimidating meeting new people and you can look around and be like, oh no, these aren't like lost puny little freshmen I was expecting. These are like giant confident prom kings and queens that totally intimidate me. But just remember, you have friends and they don't. But not like in a mean way, but in like a, you want to introduce them to your friends so they become their friends too kind of way. Anyways, try to find someone you already met earlier that day. If you don't see anyone there that you already met, strike up a conversation with someone who doesn't look like they've met anyone in GCL yet. If there aren't any of those yet, then everybody crowd around the one new guy until someone else shows up. I mean, hey, nobody's ever complained about having too many friends. One of the scariest parts about having a conversation with someone is the fear that you'll run out of things to say and then there's the dreaded awkward silence. But here's a helpful strategy for avoiding the awkward silence. Have a list of go-to get to know you questions in your arsenal. Some common ones are, where are you from? Do you know what you're going to major in yet? What dorm are you moving into? What classes are you taking? Do you have much of a church background? Take your time with these questions. Your goal is not to get through all of your questions, but to try to connect with them in some way. For example, if your first question is, where are you from? And they say, what kind? You can be like, no way, my Dutch clocking troupe went to a dance tour in Wakanda last week. And then you could end up talking about that all night and never even get to the second question. Now suppose you're with one of those one word answer types. So where are you from? Florida. Anywhere in particular? No. Do you know what you're majoring in yet? No. Cool. So tuition prices, right? That's totally fine. Whatever you do, don't just leave a conversation just because you got through your questions and there's a lull in the conversation. If you leave them, then they're alone again and you're right back where you started with no progress made. If you get through all of your get to know you questions, you can introduce them to somebody else who's in your house church. You could even pair up with somebody from your house church beforehand. You might even finish your get to know you questions at the same time they finish their get to know you questions. And when you combine, you have twice as many people to introduce themselves and go through the same get to know you questions all over again. You can even keep doing this over and over again until you have a big giant globule of freshmen asking each other the same five questions over and over again. If you feel like your person is connecting well with your globule, then it's okay to leave your new friend to go make some more new friends and add them to the globule too. Okay, so this part is really important. Have some kind of after party planned with your house church. And please, 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 please make sure the plan is set set and finalize before the night event starts. Nothing turns people away like wishy-washy plans or fickle people. Personally, I have found the most success with after parties that are slightly off campus, but not at somebody's house or apartment. Remember that these freshies have been warned about wild, crazy college parties, and even though they know they're with a church group, they've been told not to trust anybody. And for good reason. These people just met you, and going over to some random guy's house does sound a little sketchy. But also remember that eventually house churches will probably meet off campus, so we want people to move towards trusting us enough for that. So a public spot just off campus is perfect. For example, Sweet Berries is great, or Steak and Shake is good for events at Yuli. Even volleyball at the volleyball court works. You could even have your after event coordinator coordinate with the other house churches to make sure you're not all going to the same places on the same night. I know we love doing things as a whole church, but the whole purpose of the after event is to hang out with smaller groups of people so you can really get to know each other rather than in the giant group that we just came from. 